Welcome me, welcome you to the house of Ebron, where are your dreams come true? Hey guys, thanks for coming by. If you're new to the channel, what's up? If you're not new to the channel, thanks for coming back for another video. Today's video, we're just doing some skincare, okay? And we are diving into um, the Alien franchise because I am going to see that later this week. And talking about other TV shows and horror films that I've been watching or need to watch, okay? So, before we get into the video, make sure to subscribe, like, and comment, share this video, and do not forget to click the bell in the left or right corner of your screen to be notified when I drop new videos, which is every single week. So I think I went to the movies like the week after um, Quiet Place came out. And when I tell you, I had nearly the whole theater to myself. I went on a Monday. I normally don't like going on the same weekend that a movie has come out. Um, the last time I went to a movie, like on on opening uh, weekend, was to see Dune, and before that was to see Endgame, Marvel, uh, Avengers, Endgame. I think like after before Dune, that was the last time I saw a movie opening night, and I don't like no, I like. The last movie I saw open at night was Challengers. That was it, because I went with a friend. We went open at night, and that movie theater was packed to capacity. And I normally don't like going to a movie theater. Even though I was whispering to my friend, I don't like going because people, they don't know how to turn their phones off. They, um, and even if they're on their phones, they don't know to like turn the brightness down. Like we don't want to see a flashlight in the theater, girl. And then two, people, they don't know how to whisper. They talk loudly. Like girl, we can all hear you, Miss Thing. So you might as well you might as well just talk loud. We can hear you. But I went to go see a Quiet Place. It was like only three other people in the theater. Beautiful. It was actually a beautiful, like, experience because I love just having almost no people in the theater and it be pitch black. Oh, it's the best. So I had to go use the restroom like 30, 40 minutes into the movie. Luckily, it was only on the part where Lupita's character had already... Um, be kind of befriended Eric and they were they had already went to the pizzeria that she wanted to go to but they found out that it was burnt to a crisp because of the aliens um so they went to that other pizzeria well Eric went to the other pizzeria to get the pizza the movie was so good it was really good to see how like another perspective of how other people survived during the onslaught of the alien attack. Like, she was very determined. It's like, girl, I'm already dying from this disease, this illness. Girl, if they gonna take me out, they gonna take me out, okay? But one thing that was not smart, and I, it was so crazy that the second time I watched it, because I, I did watch it twice. The second time I watched it, do you remember the part where the alien, well, not, the aliens had already um, followed the, whether it was a jet or helicopter, the the announcements that were coming through the microphone of the air the helicopter, that army, when they were telling everybody to go to the dock to get on get on the ship to get to uh, safety. And that's when the aliens followed them because they were making a bunch of noise. And so everybody was headed to the docks. But it was like hundreds of people walking in the middle of the street. And when they do the out, like the... When they do the, like, pan out 
and they show all the hundreds of people walking with Lupita character walking in the opposite direction. And then you can see on the building to the right, it was like a, what's that? Like a patio little thing outside of the apartment building. There's an alien looking at the crowd below. And I didn't catch that the first time in the theater. I did catch it the second time. I was like, wow. And I love when movies, you can do that with movies when you're watching it for like the second, third time. You can see all of the like hidden things that you didn't see before. So I really like that. If there's ever a zombie or <laughs> alien apocalypse, I'm not going to be around certain people. There are three people we are not going to be around, okay? One, people that are slow. You have to stay up with the group, girl. If not, you are just going to be the bait and we are going to get out, okay? Number two, people that do not listen. When it's time to run and somebody says run, there's no, oh, standing there looking at what's coming to attack you. Girl, we said run. Why are you still standing there? Number three, people who have kids. Prefer, most specifically, people who have children under the age of 10. Mm. Fuck them kids! If you got children under the age of 10, baby, it's a wrap. <laughs> it's a wrap. Y'all remember what happened with the child that happened? Um, what's, what was that? I forgot the child's name. But it was in Quiet Place, the first one that was released. And he he had that little, uh, what was that? It was an airplane toy or a spaceship toy. One of the things. And it made noise. He was, what, the third youngest child? And he got wrapped up because he didn't listen. Of the cinematography, I really hope we get a fourth Quiet Place because... There's a little bit more, there's a little bit more storytelling that can take place. Um, what's another movie that I went to go see? Well, I haven't gone to see this movie yet. The, um, Renoculus? I don't, I don't think I'm pronouncing it right. But the new Alien movie? See that. I do feel like that will be a really good movie to see. Because I really, I just watched... Prometheus and I've watched uh what was that other alien movie it's the alien movie where the doctor from Prometheus so Prometheus the end is the doctor lady doctor the female doctor and the droid survived in the ship and they crash landed back on their the home planet of the aliens from Prometheus the next alien movie after that, it tells the story of a group of people trying to find um, another place to call home other than Earth. And they get this like broadcast from the lady from Prometheus. Mind you, in this new alien movie, not the new one that's out, but the next one, she's already dead. Okay, she's already, she kicked the bucket. But this one, the this group of travelers find her recording because they go, instead of going to the planet where they had already planned to go, they decide to follow the recording and go to this other planet, which is, it was really stupid. Um, and they all die, of course. And I think it's only one or two people that survive from that movie and the new movie that's out now alien in theaters it follows again that same storyline of this new crew of people finding this uh ship no i forgot nobody survived with this alien movie and it was the android from the prometheus movie he became like anti-human and he looked at human humans as well, he looked at the aliens as his children, and he was experimenting on the scientist lady. 
and he became anti-human. Okay, it's Alien Covenant, the movie that I'm talking about. So all the crew from Alien Covenant, gone, okay? The droid from Prometheus, he, again, he he took off that scientist lady. She is gone. He experimented on her, created a new species of alien. Moving on to Alien Covenant movie, that same droid from Prometheus takes out all of the crew from this new expedition. He takes over their ship and all of the people that are in the pods that are asleep and there's about a hunt there's hundreds of pods of people sleep because they're families they went to find a new planet well they already found a new planet but they were headed to the planet to repopulate it um, for the human species mind you he's already taken out all the crew so all these people that are asleep he has the alien eggs and he's going to use these eggs with the you know the little creatures with the mouths that latch on to people's faces and puts the eggs down their throat he has a bunch of those and so from alien covenant to alien romulus that's the name right the newest one romulus that is the new crew that has found the ship that the droid from prometheus has taken over and that is all of the little aliens that they are going to find in Rom Romulus. But I really don't know how the movie goes. So I'm really excited to go see it. I think I'm going to go see it like Tuesday or Wednesday. And you know, I'm I'm ready to see what, what the movie is going to give. I have to finish um, Vampire. What's the movie called? Interview with a Vampire with a Black Guy. Oh, he's so hot. I forgot his name. But he's really hot. Um, I've really just been watching you a bunch of YouTube. There's this um new YouTuber that I, I really started enjoying. His name is what's his username? Nick says boo. He reviews a lot of um horror films and I am a super horror film buff. Like I love horror films from Scream, The Thing, um Splice, what other movies? I do like, I kind of like Halloween and some camp movies like Gremlins and uh, Mars Attacks. I like, I really enjoy sci-fi and horror films. Like that is my niche in terms of films that I enjoy. Um, so that's why I'm going to go see Aliens. I'm going to go see Long Legs, that new horror film. I think that's the A24. Correct me if I'm wrong, but I do believe that's A24 Productions. Um, there's a new, uh, another new f horror film coming out. I think Smile 2 is coming. I really enjoyed Smile. That was a good movie. Smile 2 is coming. There's another one, though. It's like a slasher film. I'll try to put, like, the title card or, like, the poster for it, but I can't remember it. I can see the trailer now because I already watched the trailer, but... I'll have to put the title card or whatever. Okay, let's move on. Well, guys, thank you guys so much for watching my video today. We're just catching up on movies um, that I watch and have to watch. Let me know in the comments what other movies you have seen so far. What other horror films. If you're into horror films, let me know in the comments what other horror films you're going to be watching. Follow me on my socials. I can be found on TikTok and Instagram at House of the Bond. Same title. Um, until the next video, I'll see you all later. Bye.